This is an ultrasound study of a 28 years old male with a history of groin pain, episodic low level, uh, and uh, no significant finding. No lab profile has been provided to me. Now, this is the right kidney. This is the upper pole of the right kidney, mid region, and uh, this is the normal level. And we can see that the echogenicity of the kidney is uh, of the renal parenchyma <coughs> is almost equal to that of the adjacent uh, liver parenchyma. So the kidney uh, is uh, normal in echogenicity, cortical medullary differentiation is intact, these are the cortex uh, pyramids, uh, sorry this is the cortex and these tiny cystic areas are representative of uh, pyramids. So uh, the thickness is preserved that of the parenchyma and uh, the pyramids are seen so the corticomedullary differentiation is intact, echogenicity is normal. Now this is the uh, full view of the, the length of the in length that of the uh, right kidney, beta pasal was asking the patient <coughs> to the left lateral decubitus posture. We don't see any hydronephrosis, no calculus is seen, and uh, it is becoming a bit difficult to get the full view uh, of the kidney in epidiameter, and uh, sorry, in length. So I will suffice with the anterior posterior diameter the anterior posterior diameter is 3.2 and this is the most important diameter. 3.2 centimeter up to 5 is normal. So the kidney is okay so far as uh, the dimensions are concerned. There is a reason why uh, the pole is not reached easily uh, for some minute. Now this is the other kidney, the left kidney for the customer. And uh, here you can see that it gives you an appearance that as if it is a small kidney, it is not. <coughs> see that the cortex metals are, are normal, corticomillary differentiation is normal, and uh, it is gliding over the source muscle. This is the source muscle. This kidney measures approximately. Uh, you see that you are not getting a proper length, and there is a reason for that that I will unfold a bit. <coughs> uh, now, 6.6 centimeter in length, and uh, this is the most important diameter, 2.6 centimeter. Now from 2.5 to 5 centimeter is considered as normal and from 6 to 11 centimeters in length is considered to be normal. See that the kidney is at the lower level, uh, is within normal dimensions but at lower limits and the central sinus hypocomplex appears a bit muffled. No calculus is seen, corticomedullary differentiation is intact. Now you see that uh, this is the uh, cortex, medulla. This central sinus echo complex, echo is uh, definitely fat, is uh, muffled, and this is the source muscle on which this kidney is riding. You can see it. So there. And the reason for all this is that as I come down from the, this is the pancreas, the pancreatic tail, here comes the aorta, the right renal vein, I will see superior mesentery cartridge, suprenic vein, and the <coughs> pancreas. So when I come down, I see just above the aorta, a band, a hypopoic band, this is the hypopoic band that uh, is communicating the both kidneys together. That's so consistent with now this band. This is the aorta. 
this is the IBC and uh, this is the IBC this is the aorta and I am just above the umbilical region in transfer section and this strap of, of uh, hypopoic area this area is in fact by combining the both kidneys at the hypopoic region <coughs> sorry so uh, it is uh, this band of tissue is combining the lower pole of the right kidney with that of the uh, right kidney. So this is a case of uh, horseshoe shaped kidneys. Here you will see. But I can massa like this. Saroko. Saroko. Roko. Here it comes over here. And you can see the transfer section of the kidney. This is the transfer section of the kid, right kidney, and on this side, salivator. Okay, but see, but this. Now you see that this is the band of tissue that is connecting to the left kidney transfer section. This is the left kidney transfer section, and it's anterior to the aorta. This is the spine, and we are just above the umbilical region in transfer section. So this is a case of uh, horse shoe shaped kidney. See the higher region that of the uh, right kidney in transfer section. The both kidneys are smaller in appearance, relatively smaller in uh, dimension. This is the right kidney and uh, this is the higher region, higher vessel. Sorry, you can see this area is representative of the hyper region of the right kidney. This is the right kidney. This is the IVC. The magnified view I am showing you. This is the aorta, just in transfer section, just above the umbrella. <coughs> And this band of tissue is uh, the one that is connecting both kidneys together. So this is our case of the day. Thank you very much. Now, when we scan such patients with uh, horseshoe-shaped kidneys <coughs> in supine posture, as, as I'm showing you now, uh, what happens uh, is that we are unable to evaluate the uh, inferior pole or the uh, low pole of the kidney. As I'm showing you now, I'm trying to get the max purpose. I'm showing you the maximum of what I can uh, get from this uh, supine posture. Even with asking the patient to take a <coughs> deep breath, the muscle of which topo. Now this is the maximum that I can get, salivary. And uh, it's not unusual for such kidneys to be of relatively small size. As you can see, that this kidney measures 7.9 centimeters. This is the right kidney, and uh, 7.9 centimeters in or say. Uh, 8 centimeters in length, normal is from uh, 6 to 11 centimeters, so it is within normal range. Now this kidney in anterior posterior diameter, which is the most important uh, diameter that we consider, is 3.2 centimeter in anterior posterior diameter. So this is also within normal, as the normal what we consider is uh, between 2.5 to five centimeters. Now going towards the left side, this is the left kidney and uh, the left kidney that I can get the maximum from in supine posture and I am talking about the supine posture, spine posture. 
so this is totally total what I can get so now it measures approximately 6.7 now as this length of the kidney uh, is considered from 6 to 11 is considered to be normal so this is within normal <coughs> the uh, lower limit of the normal it starts from 6 and the anterior posterior diameter is 2.5 and as I already narrated that the normal that we consider is 2.5 to 5, so it is at the lower limit of normal. Second thing is that uh, in uh, such kidneys, it's, we are not able to see the uh, inferior or lower pole because, see, this is the right kidney and the bowel gases are cutting away the uh, posterior, uh, the inferior segment or the in, uh, lower pole of the of this uh, kidney, of the right kidney, and same is the case uh, uh, in uh, left kidney or it is not, no, this kidney, both poles are clear, here you see upper pole, inferior pole or the lower pole and the mid region. So, <coughs> but why it occurs so? is that because the kidneys are, uh, and now in this patient, uh, the right kidney is, uh, uh, the inferior pole of the right kidney is in fact displaced medially, and uh, <coughs> in most cases we see that the kidneys are more medially placed as compared to the normal uh, uh, lumbar region. This is kidney is also more medially placed as compared to the its normal location in the lumbar region and uh, then we see uh, and that is the reason because the inferior pole is uh, more or lower pole is more medially located more medially located it's cut off by the gases and we can't uh, uh, evaluate that area now this is the band of tissue that is seen crossing the uh, aorta as well as the IVC. You can note the pulsations. Here we are. And it is also called an isthmus. <coughs> this region is also called the isthmus of the kidney. This is the hypopoic band of tissue uh, that uh, uh, connects the inferior pole of both kidneys. And, and they are because they are more medially placed, the kidneys, in this case the right kidney is more medially placed, the left is not. Now this is the aorta, this is the IVC in uh, transfer section and uh, it's, the isthmus is seen anterior to the uh, aorta and uh, the kidneys, right kidney is seen to be, though in more, uh, you, what is seen in such cases is that the kidney is more medially placed uh, their inferior poles are more medially placed, but in this patient, the uh, more medially placed is the uh, lower pole, that of the right kidney, and the reason why it is depicted easily in transfer section as compared to the left kidney. Now this is the transfer <coughs> section, and uh, you see I am getting it. This is the uh, impression of the left kidney, the right kidney because it's more medially placed, uh, that's why it's being uh, seen more easily compared to the uh, left kidney. Now when I move uh, towards the left side, uh, it's really not that easy to get the left kidney in transfer section. When I go further upwards, I get the transfer section of the left kidney. This is the transfer section of the left kidney. <coughs> But for this, I have to move the probe higher up, and uh, okay, so the, why it is so that the, the medial pole of this kidney is not uh, uh, medially displaced and it's not being cut off by gases. This is the hilar region. This is the transfer section, central sinus psychocomplex. So. Uh, This, uh, what we, this, these few things are important in, in the study of uh, horseshoe-shaped kidney.
the angling of the medial, the kidneys are medially placed and a band of hypophoic band connecting the inferior pole most in most of the cases look <coughs> in joint in other regions as well. But in this patient we see that uh, they combine with the inferior pole uh, or the lower pole of both kidneys. Now the urinary bladder of this uh, young man is uh, okay. No pathology is seen relating to the urinary bladder. Prostate everything is okay. And the IVC is seen normal. This is the IVC. Thank you very much.